Oh hi, yeah, so uh, I got a new channel. Uh, so I thought I would, I would, I would make like COVID related like mockery of the of the bullshit. Like because like uh, since it's a new channel I I mean they can just hit me with strikes, new strikes. I don't really care so so uh, because I have two other main channels so they can just so I just uh, thought I like okay so now I'm just gonna say everything I, I think about the the COVID bullshit well like firstly I, I mean obviously I, I uh, acknowledge uh, well I mean I'll just say I really like the phenomenon because I mean it's rather evidence for internationalism it's really really just shows how, how pathetic and disgusting most people are and I mean obviously that kind of like evidence is uh, say we have a hypothesis which is antinatalism and and uh, the argument is everybody stops breeding, everybody stops procreating all, all humans that is Not uh, not not every every everything that that you know. Uh, no, I'm I'm not making that argument. Uh, quite quite honestly, I I, I think uh, for example squirrels are are a lot better a lot, uh, lot better better creatures than than um, humans, and I mean it's. Would be a great planet if it's just only squirrels. In a way, it, it's very puzzling that uh, you kind of see if evolution is true, you can see with humans that uh, that uh, like okay, what would like these animals like talk about if if they could like, and that's what the humans are doing. That's like okay, this is what uh, a mouse would talk about if it could talk, you know. So it's it's pretty disgusting. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so this argument that uh, I mean, uh, I, I think there's a lot of evidence in in the in the COVID nonsense, the Corona nonsense, because it's just so over the top, like easily the the most pathetic and uh, actually, uh, I mean, this guy <laughs> Peter Hitchens. Uh, uh, Christopher Hitchens' uh, brother, he uh, he said uh, it's the biggest failure of journalism ever. ever. Uh, so we're we're talking about this kind of like goat phenomenon, like simply the greatest of all time. Real fail, fail army, you know. Really, when when humanity really, really, you know, really. You got some kind of like uh, psychosis, you know, uh, uh, Darwin Award, mass formation, psychosis. Uh, uh, so, uh, and just to, uh, I mean, this guy, just another YouTuber, uh, yeah, I really like that guy, and uh, I mean, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, you know, it's like, what, what do you call this movie? Ready Player One? Like, I, I, I sort of feel like we are friends, and but you know, we haven't never met each other. I don't even know how he looks like, so it's, it's kind of like Ready Player One. Uh, but, so I'm just saying, uh, I'm just saying if, if he's gonna listen to this, I'm just gonna say, yeah, I do acknowledge the project as, as a, as a, as a sociological, political, medical, and so on, pro I mean, thing, you know. I mean, I'm just thinking it's fun to make make fun of because it's just so extreme. Like it, it really gets my attention when it's so when it's so uh, so weird, you know. So, I mean, unlike like many other projects, like building a bridge or something, you, it's just you know you just do it, you know, you just uh, build a build a railway or something it's it's just about building the 
is just about getting the project done. Uh, this is this is much more esoteric, and uh, so I'm, I'm I'm totally you know I'm, I'm I mean I I'm totally brainwashed by the by the so-called system as well. So like anybody else, basically. So it's not that I'm. Uh, it's not like, like, like just like like re, you know some kind of like rebel with no cause or something like just like just uh, or, or even uh, pre, it's not really emotional any I, I I just I just think it's it's really funny to talk about and of course I, I got like around a lot of videos deleted and I did get deleted from. The entire mainstream internet. I, I got three three YouTube channels deleted. Uh, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. And it's just uh, all of it. Like it's like, oh, that's some guy who's not you know sucking the dick of Bill Gates in a in a correct way. So you know we have to we have to you know. Uh, blah, blah, whatever, I don't know. I mean, but uh, so uh, this Kennedy guy, uh, like with the weird voice, you know, with, he's like, uh, he's like, uh, uh, saying the same, you know, that the censorship is is unethical, and then he mentioned Pinterest. I don't know. I don't know how you would go on Pinterest and uh, express something about COVID since it's uh, it's like an art, it's an art sharing forum. But <laughs> so I don't know, like if you made a, like if you made like a drawing or something and or you wrote something in the drawing. I, I mean, it's a little strange example, gamer. But uh, but then also there was this very famous like musician guy that I got friends with on Facebook, like. Who was a drama in the in probably like the most successful Danish band of the 20th century, uh, post World War 20th century. Uh, should we do a boss a hell guys? It's a very nice guy, and uh, I mean he he also said that in a post yesterday that the censorship is unethical. Uh, wh whatever you think about the healthcare uh, aspects. You gotta admit that the censorship is, is nonsense. I actually, I in the beginning of it, I, I called the hotline, and then I talked with, with this guy who worked in there, you know, with the COVID-19 hotline. And then when I brought up censorship, he uh, he said something. Well, if it's wrong, you know, then it should get deleted. I mean, what what kind of like dumb argument is that? I mean, so so I mean, these pieces of shit who run YouTube and Facebook, they're, they're supposed to judge what is right and wrong. I mean, it's just, uh, that's just unbelievably stupid. Uh, uh, so, uh, and also you, you see, uh, you see uh, websites like Odyssey and Rockfin. I really like Rockfin as well. I, I, I pay Brian Stavely $10. A month, and then I get access to all his premium posts. But I also get access to all other premium posts. But I, I, the money goes to Brian. I hope. I think. Yeah. So to, because I'm impressed with his 9/11, uh, 9/11 work. And uh, so, uh, and his Mandela effect stuff. So it's like, uh, how do you explain? Uh, obviously, Odyssey is, and BitChute and, and Rockfin there, they are allowing it because they think it's a morally right thing to do. So, so it's it's uh, it's pretty. Uh, I don't know how you can think like that. Why why do you even want to put uh, like great art like? I mean, don't you think? Like, I mean, I saw tales of the from the dark side. Don't you think like really intelligent TV shows like like The Outer Limits and uh, 
bunch of python and stuff don't you think that's subversive as well i mean that's that's super subversive so why are they allowing that if uh, they're not allowing us to say the covid is bullshit but they're allowing monty python so don't don't you think monty python is more liberating than saying covid is bullshit uh so <laughs> Oh my god. And also, I saw Out of Limits, by the way, by CBS. I mean, it's almost like the Twilight Zone just changed name into the Out of Limits because it's, uh, it's, uh, it was in 1963 that that, that Twilight Zone ended. And, uh, I, I don't know if there was some anger on, uh, on Rod Serling's part there, or he did it voluntarily. Because Night Gallery doesn't have so much with him to do. He doesn't have anything to do with Outer Limits, and and he doesn't have anything to to do with 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 with, with Night with Night Gallery uh, other than being a host. So it's like, uh, oh, this is like this. Uh, I'm like the frog and Frogger right now. I mean, it's really busy roads here. Because the Danes, they love to get into a car and annoy people with their, with their fucking car, you know, instead of like walking 500 meters or something. They're just gonna get into their car, you know, and waste money. And so on. So, so it's like, uh, all right, so, I mean, So the outer limits transformed, uh, the Twilight Zone transformed into the outer limits, maybe because because they took over chronologically. Yeah, I'm I'm just saying you really like Tales from Dark Side, the movie. I just saw great movie uh, with uh, Deborah Harry and uh, Steve Buscemi, Christian Slater, I'm sorry by Stephen King. It's really high quality stuff there's this cat that jumps into jumps into a person it's so strong that it jumps into his stomach and crawls out through his mouth so uh, i mean that's that's me you know that's how much i hate some humans you know that's like i mean that was back when back when art was real art like like video drum like when you see when you see the this guy with the ulcers, like, with like, <laughs> it's just like, like completely like everything on his inside is just one big cancer, you know, like, I mean, that kind of like statements, you know, it's really powerful, really powerful uh, freedom, freedom stuff. Uh, so, I just don't think, I mean, if you like, look at Wayne Di Jay Dyer and stuff, I just think it just gets too boring if you don't also talk about internationalism. I don't just want to talk about these, these topics. I, I, I also want, if you, even though it's my background and in, in uh, academic, my academic studies, but humanities, but... I just want to like add antinatalism so so there's also going to be like a practical dimension like where you can you can like try to stop you can try to stop uh, evil from breeding like uh, so uh, the other another notion like uh, was like uh, you know like when you see stay don't stay don't Media, media, like basically, like they're gonna make the, the point that you get something for your tax money. That's that's what they're gonna try to argue. Well, and uh, that's why that's why you 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 almost always almost always see you see adult people like having cut their ties with with their mother and father because. 
because they, they, they want a society where where when you reach a certain age then you you take care of yourself financially so you almost always see that uh, that kind of story uh, also, uh, George Chiro, the French philosopher, he, he said, also, you see nationalism in American movies. That's very true, of course. Although, True Detective is, a, is an exception, but... Uh, uh, yeah, of course, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. You know, like Paul Auster, you know, like... Why the fuck you want to be a fucking artist if you... And then be uh, if you if you want to create uh, you want to create new new workers new new need machines new and look look at how it how it how it went him uh, it's his son you know that's a great uh, great antinatalism argument uh, but, uh, let's, yeah let's you know. You know, let's let's make a daughter that like you know sniffs uh, heroin at a uh, ten month old and yeah, that's that's really great. So you know, let's 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 like talk about how much you love your Norwegian fucking skank. You know, and just ignore uh, the reality of of your granddaughter sniffing fucking heroin at a ten month old and dying of an overdose fucking idiot you know I mean these, these these people these people are the biggest fucking pieces of trash and there's a video even if you just look at like search for Oster on YouTube actually like like three posts or something it's gonna be about Denmark him visiting Denmark what the fuck is he doing in Denmark uh, I mean what the fuck so he's like I mean, so 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 he he gets like an a, a, an award for from Copenhagen University, you know, without 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 ever setting his foot there physically. Uh, and uh, I mean, who does he think these people are? I mean, is he aware of how pathetic these people really are? So I, I, okay, I didn't get to talk so much about about COVID as I wanted to, but but it's uh, my point. I think uh, uh, I mean it does touch uh, the things I say. It does touch <laughs> touch? The, fuck you! The fuck you, dog! Fuck you, doggy! Yeah. So. Uh, uh, it does touch, and it does touch the the topic of antinatalism. I think. What's the fuck is this problem? That's uh, uh, can probably smell me. Oh man. No, I mean it's it's like uh, I think. Obviously. Um, um, uh, the, 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 uh, it is relevant because the state-owned media is it, uh, obviously is gonna love something to do with healthcare and stuff. Well, what, what's really amazing and pathetic is uh, that, 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 that the normal population actually bought into it, like like they were nurses or something. Like it's it's I mean Danes are especially annoying as a as I as I argue often argue and I, I was at this marathon, half marathon yesterday and, um, and then after like 30 minutes or something this guy just comes well like a, faster than a, faster than a train faster than a running train he starts like wow that was number one. But and then then I, I I'm 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 there as a volunteer, uh, like to, to show direction. There was one guy actually, who who uh, who who 
we didn't know uh, how where to run so I had to show him the right direction he was like number number seven or something in the race or, or number nine or something so then so then uh, so uh, so then uh, but just then I this there's this volunteer who uh, when she says to every single participant I mean this is like out of care the catch and the rye like good example of annoying phony behavior she says to every single runner like uh, watch out for the for, watch out for the sign like <laughs> so she's like there's like thousands of participants like she's trying to tell every single participant every time they pass watch out for the sign 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 <laughs> I mean it's just this is the Danish this is a Danish mentality, you know, this guy. Uh, like, as if anybody would have fucking hit the sign if she she didn't, she she wasn't saying that. I, I don't know if it's a standard, it's probably standard at, at races to do stuff like that, but uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, so, uh, but this guy who was number one, he was really a fast runner, I mean, just unbelievable. Like he was just, you know, like, like you say, faster, <coughs> faster than a, you say, faster than a bullet, or faster than a train. He was faster, he wasn't faster than a bullet, but he was faster than a train, maybe. Well, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, well, so I'm gonna upload this, and then, like, that was, that was, that was, like, a weird, that was a really, really weird rant, because I, but anyway, I mean, I just think my opinion is just, just absolutely, like, idiotic, and, re and it's against the Nuremberg Convention, like, that you get to choose your own, uh, it's, it's not legal, so, do medical experiments on people, so it's uh, and uh, and in Denmark they they got like twisted in some weird way, so it so it seemed like like the, like the good uh, you know uh, what do you call it, but what do you, uh, I don't know what you, the good citizen leeway to. To, to do things like using just every you know pathetic emotional thing in the book like um, well and and in, indeed uh, um, uh, as Rainer Fulmich points out uh, one of the early memos they said that people should feel guilty for the tortured death of their loved ones that, that was part of the part of the project so to make people feel like that if they didn't uh, comply and obey so you see the, these I mean this is Mengele speaking the, these these people are you know trash they're meat fucking trash and they will get fucking punished for their bullshit fuck you